to my channel i am vivian and today i want to show you how to make a cow neck top okay cow neck top so if you are new to this channel you are very much welcome please hit on that subscribe button okay and also turn on the notification bell beside it so that you'll be notified whenever i upload a new video thank you so much for clicking on this channel and if you have been on this channel if you're an old subscriber or even you have been watching my videos and you're yet to subscribe just hit on the subscribe button it takes nothing actually to subscribe okay just hit it to support me and encourage me to do more videos for you so thank you so much for stopping by so now to make a cow neck top you'll be needing your basic bodice pattern okay that is just to make it easy you'll be needing your basic bodice pattern so this is an old bodice basic pattern that i've drafted before okay so i'll be making use of it but i'll be modifying it so when when we're making the um cow neck top we will not need the darts so i'll be taking away the darts when i'm sewing it okay so at the waist area I have one inch that so when i'm sewing it i'll take away the one inch that i'll take it away so my sewing will go this way okay all the way down so this is the front panel and this is the back panel also i'll be modifying the back panel because we'll not need a zipper for the cow neck top since we'll be making it with a stretchy fabric yes it is actually nice when you make it with a stretchy fabric or a light weight fabric okay so i'll be folding my zipper allowance because i don't need it so i'll fold this in okay to be able to cut out the back part of my cow neck top so i'll fold the zipper allowance in and this is just the only modification i'll be making at the back panel just taking away the zipper allowance and i have it here okay then like i said for the darts when i'm sewing it i'll take away the darts so you know i added one inch for the dart at this ending part so when i'm sewing what i'll do is just come in at this waist area by one inch then i'll sew and go this way so that is just it now this is for the back we'll use it to cut out the back part of our cow neck top now for the front like i said we'll be modifying the front and we'll be using the slash and spread method to do this okay we'll be using the slash and spread method so what i'll do is this at the chest line i will slash it so slashing is just cutting it okay so i'll slash it at the chest line but i'm not cutting it out completely so i'll just slash it up to this part and just leave it there like this okay so by the time i have done this i'll place it on another pattern paper so i have another pattern paper here and this is what i'll do i'll place it leaving some space at the top because i would like to cut the facing together okay so that i wouldn't have to join the facing again for the front so i'll be cutting out the facing together so this is what i'll do so i'll place it on another pattern paper like this leaving about four inches space up okay so then by the time you place it on a page on a, another pattern paper you would open this side a little bit so actually when you open here it depends on what you want because the higher you go the deeper the neckline will be okay the deeper the cow neck will be the higher you go the deeper it will be so at this point i'll be using okay i'll just place it like this i'll not be 
I, I don't want it so deep and I don't want it too high, okay? So this is it, okay? Like I said, depending on what you want, depending on how deep you want the cow neck to be, you would move your, you move this other side. So I want you to see the full length of this. So you just move it, the, the deeper you want it to be, the higher you go. So I'll just leave it at this. Okay, I'll leave it at this. This is okay for me. This is okay. So now what I'll do is just to trace it out. But before then, I would like I'll just hold it down because I wouldn't want it to move while I'm tracing it out. So I'll just hold it down with my paper tape here. Okay. And that is just okay. That is just okay. Now I'll trace it out. So I'll start from this top. Okay, and just trace it out like this. So you can see where I started from, just tracing it out from there. Then trace the armhole. Okay, then trace the other part of the body. So now I would add one inch sewing allowance at the hem area. So I want to have one inch sewing allowance here. So I'll add it. So this is my one inch sewing allowance. So I'll connect that. So I already have allowance on my basic bodies. Okay, I already have the sewing allowance. So I've just added the hem allowance. And that is it, okay? So now I can remove my paper. And this is what I have. So let me trace this one here. Okay, so this is what I have here. So the next thing to do now, We'll make a line so here I will just connect my ruler and make a straight line from this edge of the shoulder okay just make a straight line to the end here and this is it okay so this is our cow neck pattern but I want to add the facing at once I wouldn't want to join it at the neckline later on so I want the the cow neck to have the facing this at the same time. So what I will do, I would from this neckline now, I will come up by at least four inches. Okay, just come up by at least four inches. You can make it longer than this. You can make it shorter. So depending on what you want. So let me use five inches so that it can go far in. Okay, so it can go far in and to be coming out. So I have five inches there. So I'll make a line at that five inches. So let me also mark it here. Okay. So now I'll make a, I'll just draw my line. Okay, this is it. So let me just extend my line because I want to cut it out. Okay, so I have it here. So the next thing is to cut this out, okay? So I'll just first of all cut out the excess, then I'll fold this part before cutting out this other side. So let me just trim out this excess, okay? having trimmed out my excess what i'll do is to fold it at this part before cutting out the shoulder so just fold it at this part like so okay so after folding it now i can cut the shoulder the armhole and other parts of the dress
or the top. So I'll go this So now I'll open it up. Okay, so this is what I have here. Now I would also adjust this side a little bit, okay? Because by the time I fold in the facing, it I will not want it to get to this area. So what I'll do is just reduce this side a little bit. So I can reduce it by just measure 1.5 inches. Okay. Okay, you can use either 1.5 or 2 inches so let me use two inches just come up here by two inches okay from this point just come up by two inches then you connect it to this side so just what you do just connect it and you have it there okay so just blend it out a little bit don't want it so this is okay so now i'll cut it out at that point This is my facing so i wouldn't have to cut separate facing for my cow neck top again so it will go this way inside the cow neck inside the, the top to go this way then this side will be joined to the shoulder at the back and this side will be inside okay so this is it now i will use this pattern to cut on the fabric then i will put it back i will use this to cut at the back also the way it is without the zipper allowance but i'll add my one inch okay i'll add my one inch hemming allowance so to make this easy or in order not to get confused you can still transfer this on another pattern okay you can transfer what you want on another pattern so that you use it directly on the fabric the way you want it to be so let me do just that so I have another pattern for this. So what I'll do is just to transfer it onto this pattern, adding my one inch hem allowance. Okay, then every other thing will remain the same. And the, the zipper, I'm taking away the zipper allowance now, and I'm adding my one inch hem allowance. Then for the facing, I will not be cutting the facing at once. No, by the time I'm done cutting the cutting on the fabric, I also cut out a separate facing because this is the back. So the facing, I'll cut out a separate facing for the back area so the only thing to do now is just add my one inch hem allowance then i'll cut it out so i'm doing this just you know in order not to make you confused or so that you won't forget when you're cutting on the fabric and you won't forget to add your um hem allowance so i'll just i want the front and the back to just be the same the same length okay so this is my one inch hem allowance i'm transferring it and i will just cut out every other thing the way it is so let me connect it so this is it so now i'll just cut it out so in order for your paper not to move around you can always hold it down with paper tape okay make sure it is well arranged at the edge of the paper so i'll go ahead and cut so i have my back panel here okay so now i can go ahead and cut on fabric so this is my front panel and this is the back panel so you have it here now okay this is it so now i would cut out i'll go ahead and cut this on the fabric so to cut on our fabric you'll be needing that is a stretchy material is the best okay it's, it's really nice to use a stretchy material or a very lightweight material so that the the cow neck will be you know it will, it will drape well 
so i have my fabric here the next thing is to fold it on bias okay so be folding on bias that is folding sort of like triangular way you can see that is folding it this way in triangular form that is how you fold on bias so this is for the to cut the, the front part so you fold on bias to cut the front part of it So I have it here. Okay. You can see. Okay. So after folding on bias, you place your pattern paper on it and you just cut it out. So I have it here. So you make sure you place it well. So having properly placed it, I'll go ahead and cut it out. So as usual, I'll just hold it down with my paper tape so that it doesn't move. Okay? So make sure you place it well. Just arrange it well, then you cut. Okay. So it's just okay like this. Now I'll go ahead and use my fabric scissors and cut. So now I'm done cutting, and this is what I have. Okay, so by the time I open it up, this is what I'll have. This is what I'll have. So this is it, and this is the facing. So this side will go in. So I won't have to add a um, joint facing again to read. So this is it. So by the time I cut out the back and join this to the back, by the time I join it to the back, you see it's already draping. So you can see the cow neck. You can see the cow neck. So this is just it. So I'll go ahead and cut the back and join it so that you see it. You can see how it's draping already. So this is it. Okay. So you can see this. So let me cut out the back and also show you. So for the back, you don't need to place your fabric on bias. All you need to do is just fold it in the normal way we fold our fabric, okay? So you just fold it and you place your back panel on it and you just go ahead and cut. So that is just it about the back, okay? So I have my back here. And this is it okay so i'll go ahead and cut out the facing for the back so i'll just cut out the facing for the back and that is it then i also cut out sleeve for it so i want the cow top to have sleeve just a basic sleeve to be just a basic sleeve so in case you don't know how to draft a basic sleeve i would leave the link to that video in the description box okay i have a video on that on this channel and also if you don't know how to draft the basic bodies pattern if you don't know how to draft the basic bodies pattern you also find the link in the description box below so that you can watch it okay so just want to place this so that you can see what it will look like then i'll go ahead and cut out the sleeve and join it so by the time you have joined the front and the back this is what it should look like so let me just use my pin to hold it so by the time you join the back and front at the shoulder this is what you have you can see it's draping though it's not showing very because the 
fabric is designed okay, it has so many colors and design but this is it you can see it draping so this is just the car make and you can see the fitting i did inside so you will not have to, uh, you don't have um, the need for joining facing at this top at this part again so it's just inside what you can do is either you just tack it down a little bit even without tacking by the time you've sewn the shoulder it would stay in place okay it won't come out and this is it so you can see this is beautiful and very easy to make okay just follow this method you can see it's very very simple so right now i'll go ahead and cut out the basic sleeve for it and you will see all that so these are my basic sleeves so this is the back side and this is the front which is deeper so if you don't know how to make a basic sleeve please check the description box i'll leave the link to the video in the description box okay so i'll go ahead and sew my sleeve to my top okay so i've also i would also cut out the back facing so i'm just showing you this how it would be so this is the front side of the sleeve i will go ahead and join it then also join the other side so let me just do everything and you see now for the back facing okay so now to cut the back facing i'll just get a piece of the fabric place it on food okay so just place it on food then i'll get the back pan the back parts and also place it so this is it so now i'll go ahead cut out the neckline and the shoulder so make sure it is aligned in here so i'll cut out the neckline and the shoulder so the facing can get to midway of the armhole okay so it can just get to midway of the armhole that is okay so now I'll cut out the neckline the shoulder and i'll cut it midway of the armhole and that is just okay for my facing go ahead and cut it so I raise this one you just cut out this so this is okay for my facing so I'll go ahead and sew it to the neckline So this is it so this is the the back and the facing so what i'll do is this i'll place it right side facing right side like so okay then i'll sew the neckline so by the time i sew the neckline i would turn it to the other side okay then this is how it will be at the other side so this is my facing for the back So to be like this at the back okay and i can now join it to the front so let me do just that here it is okay i've done all the necessary things fixing the sleeve and hemming it so i hope you like this video please give it a thumbs up okay and if you haven't subscribed just hit that subscribe button below it is absolutely free okay also turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i upload a new video i know you wouldn't want to miss out on any of my videos so thank you so much for watching see you in my next video bye